We all know we're not allowed to copy, right? But sometimes it can be difficult finding pictures that are available to use for commercial and public use. So I'm going to show you three different ways to be able to find images for public use and for modification. The first place we're going to look is Google. Let's say I want to find a picture of a dog. I can search the word dog, click on images, and I will get a selection of pictures that are a combination of creative common use pictures, copyright images, and copyright free images. However, I'm not sure which of these pictures are available for public use. So, I can click on the gear symbol, click advanced search, scroll all the way to the bottom, and under usage rights, I can select my filter. The default setting is not filtered by license. So, if I come down and select any other options, such as free to use, share and modify, even commercially, and click advanced search, now, all of the pictures that will display are free for public use and for modification. Another easy tip is to go to the Creative Commons search site. Let's say I still want to find a picture of a dog. I can choose all of these different services in order to try to find a picture of a dog that's for public use. So let's say I want to use Flickr. I can choose Flickr and all pictures related to dogs will show up that are available for public use. Now, let's say I'm editing a Google Doc and I want to easily insert a picture that's made for public use. If I click insert image and then go down to search, I can choose three different things. I can choose to pick Google images, life images, or stock images. Now right here you can see where it says results shown are labeled for commercial use, reuse with modification. So let's say I type the word dog. I will get pictures of dogs that are free for public use. I can also select different types. Let's say I want maybe a face shot of a dog. Or maybe I want clip art. Or maybe I even want a line drawing. I can also choose any type and then search by color. So now all my results will be in the color of yellow that are free for public use. Click on this picture select and in a few seconds it should immediately insert into my document here. Then I can easily resize the image for use in a document. I can do the same exact steps within uh, presentations with Google. I can choose to insert a picture, go down to search, select any one of these three, and I should get the same results. Let's see if I want to choose a different color. All right, so I can choose any other color, I can choose any other type, and I can easily insert these pictures into my presentation. I'll select a picture, click select, and after a couple seconds, it should appear in my PowerPoint presentation, free to use, modify, and reshare with anyone on the web. So, the next time you want to use an image, think about using a copyright free image by going to Google Advanced Search, Creative Commons Search, or simply insert an image from either Google, Life, or Stock within Google Docs and Apps.